I'd like to do a quick talk about basically your Phantom controller because the Phantom controller that comes with the Phantom, in my opinion, sucks. And the reason why it sucks, it's so damn sensitive. So if you're looking for speed flying, getting up in the air, flying to wherever, great. But if you're looking to make high quality movies, then you've got to have small, you know, incremental camera. You can't have any jerky movements or anything else. So I'm going to show you what I did to fix this. Basically, my first innovation with toothpicks that I I sell I I basically stuck down with tape, and it worked out okay. But the but the tips the the toothpicks would move, and ultimately I had to keep repositioning. So I decided just to jump in and basically use this is just just as was known as rubber sealant, and um, I basically had it centered in the middle. Now it comes with this blue masking tape, which it won't stick to, right? And what I did was, as you can see the blue down here, is I actually put the blue masking tape around the bottom. So ultimately, you can see that it, it moves and it goes back to the center. Now, you're probably wondering why I cut this out. Well, this is the off button. You go straight down, it turns off the rotor. But ultimately, um, I'm really satisfied with this. And it just gives you a lot more control and it still gives you the opportunity if you need to have power you know um, to do some action but it, it, it's just great. I wish that uh, DJI would actually basically put the same sort of technology in their controller as we do in a mouse which basically says I can set the gain do I want it to be very tight which it is currently or do I want to make it really loose so the idea is when you you know, when you make your mouse less sensitive, I have to do a lot more of a turn in order to get a reaction. And the thing is, is you could easily do this with re this remote control. The fact that they haven't is very disappointing, and hopefully in, in future filmwares that, you know, that, um, a, that are released, they'll be able to have that capability. Um, just as, you know, one of the things I did with the gimbal is I, I put it down to like 20%. So when I'm moving that gimbal, it's just moving really slow. That's the camera gimbal. Otherwise, it's really jerky up, down. I mean, why do you want to watch a film that all of a sudden, you know, is just doing this stuff all the time? It just doesn't. You want things to transition slowly and smoothly, and that what that's what makes movies enjoyable to watch. Some other things I invested in. This is a four battery charger pack, but it's really good overnight because ultimately only charges one battery at a time. This battery is actually dis discharging. So what I've had to do is actually buy two more chargers. This one is for this four bit. And since I only have three chargers, I've got basically two batteries on this one. This one's about done. So now I have this one on here and I have the other charge plugged into another wall socket, charging it up. So this way I can actually get a lot more flight time in because it takes about an hour to charge these batteries but you only get 20 minutes worth of uh, flight time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like it, please share it and visit foundups.com. Foundups is basically a new business model for saving our planet. We launch projects, we do um, solutions collectively and I have a crowdfunding campaign and like this drone business that I'm starting is basically owned by the collective. Other projects that I work on are owned by a collective of stakeholders. Not shareholders, stakeholders. You want to stake in it by making a monthly contribution to our crowdfunding campaign. You become owners and ultimately if they make money, we distribute profits back to our stakeholders. It's that simple, just as you would with a share or anything else. But the difference is we're collaboratively owned. We're funded, not by a few, but by the many. And ultimately, we believe in a, in a business model that anyone can participate in, anyone can own a share in. And it's not about the project, it's about basically the model. We have lots of projects, but imagine just by contributing, you have actually ownership in all the projects, not just one or the other, like you do in the traditional business model. My name is Mike Trout. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking.